Hey guys, how's it going? This is Nate Rio, and in this training, I'm going to show you how to upload a PDF into WordPress. So we're going to look at how to upload a PDF in WordPress, um, and this is designed for those of you that are creating eBooks and you want to be able to host it so that you can give the link out. Maybe you're creating an opt-in page, and this is going to be used for your lead magnet, and you want to be able to give people the download after they opt into your landing page. So you're going to need your PDF uploaded to a site somewhere so that you have a URL or a link to give them um, to pass this along online. So, um, all right, so there's a, uh, I'm going to go over two different methods. The first one is if you have your own domain or your own blog. Um, so this is the WordPress members area. So this is for my domain, natereo.com. And all you're going to do is you're going to take your PDF file and you're going to put it under the media here. So click on media and then you're going to click on add new. All right, so I'll do that. And then what you want to do is take your PDF file, wherever you have it saved in your computer. So I'm just going to go into my files here and grab any PDF here. Let's find one that I can use. Okay, so I'm going to take this document here. It's a PDF file. And you can't do a Word doc or something like that just in case you're dealing with people with different computers. So you don't want to use a Pages file in Mac or a Word document in Word, but you want to use a PDF document, okay? So make sure you convert it to that. And then all you're going to do is click and drag it here into WordPress under the media and then the Add New button, okay? So just give it a minute to upload. And then when that's done, just wait till this progress bar gets to 100% and then it will be fully uploaded. Okay, and that should be complete here in a second. All right, and then what you'll do is you'll click edit and that'll open up in a new tab usually. And then this file URL, that's what you're looking for. So if I take this and I copy this and paste it into a new tab, here's the URL and then it's going to bring up your PDF file. Okay, so when someone gets your download link, they can go right to the page and then they'll get your PDF file. And then from here, you can download it to your computer or you can actually print it too, okay? So that's how you do it on your own domain if you have WordPress. All right, the second thing you can do is if you don't have your own domain, you can also use the same method under the free WordPress site, okay? so. Um, what you want to do first is go and create um, a WordPress.com membership or login that's free. So you go to WordPress.com. And then you're going to basically create a free blog. So you're going to call it uh, my domain or my blog title dot WordPress.com. Okay. So once you create your username and login, you're going to get to a page that looks like this. And then you can actually create your own free blog here too. So again, the domain then would be, or the URL would be myblogtitle.wordpress.com as opposed to just myblogtitle.com. So in my case, I have natereo.wordpress.com. All right, so that's what this will look like here. Just to show you. So there it is, natereo.wordpress.com. So this is the free editor. You see it's a little different. But what you want to do is once you're inside of here, you want to go to the WordPress admin because it's going to look very similar to our domain admin. Okay, so now this is the interface. It should look the same, okay, as this. So you see this is my natereo.com, the dashboard here. But then this is the free WordPress dashboard. You see how it looks very similar? Okay, so once you're here, the method is the same. You're going to go to Media, Add New. And then you take your file and you're going to click and drag it in here as well. Same method as before. Wait for it to upload. And when it's done, we're going to click that edit button again and then we'll get our URL here. Okay. There, and we have our file here. All right, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it right here, right next door. And I'm going to show you that the URL is different, though I use the same method and I have it hosted on my paid domain site and then my free WordPress site, okay? So here's the free one. It's at natereo.com. 
then it's wp-content uploads and then the rest of the text there and then over here here's the free one so it says natereo.files.wordpress.com and then it's here too so you can also use this so if you don't have your own domain and you need to upload your pdf you can also use this method and then um, eventually when you get your own domain you can um, add it to your wordpress there so that is a quick tutorial on how to upload a pdf file to both the paid version of wordpress on your own domain and then also to wordpress using wordpress.com. All right, hope that helps.